Now, we all know Noctua fans are awesome, but what we don't all necessarily know, especially if you don't watch my channel where I've covered this like weeks ago, is that now they're available in colors other than poop brown and unpleasant beige. So let's start with the IPPC lineup for ballers. They feature a sexy new black and brown color scheme. And what's great about that is if you don't like brown, look at this. Oh, removable rubber corners. Amazing. There's only a couple of models available, so you can get an NFF12 or an NFA14. And depending on which of those fans you're looking at, you can get them in 2000 or 3000 RPM versions. And with either IP52 or IP67 dust and water resistance. Now, they are more expensive than the regular Noctua fans, but you do get a couple of improvements. So they do run at higher RPM. So if you're looking for more extreme performance, there's that. And they're actually made from tougher materials. So fiberglass reinforced polyamide construction is a, you know, I don't know. I personally can't really tell the difference because Noctua fans are already pretty well built, but I'm sure that it's better. And not only that, but that like better, you know, composite material is now dust protected and dripping water protected. That's IP52 or dust tight and up to waterproof for 30 minutes, one meter deep. Although I can't think of any reason that a cooling fan would need to be under one meter of water for 30 minutes. And if it was, then I think there's a deeper problem that goes beyond your cooling fans not work. I'm sure whatever piece of electronics that is, is running pretty cool just fine. Now, the thing about the IPC models is that they don't come with any accessories. You just get the fan in the box and four screws. That is it. But don't worry, just like the ones I'm about to show you as well, you can get accessories in little bulk packs from Noctua separately. So, I mean, okay, but just for fun, we tried to come up with one reason why you might actually need a waterproof fan. And we were like, okay, well, maybe if there's like a leak in your water cooling system and then the water gets on the fan and it kind of blows everywhere. But once again, the fact that your motherboard is now dead is probably a deeper concern for you. Okay, so next up we've got the Redux model lineup. These ones come in a two-tone kind of grayish gray color scheme. It's available in P14R, P14S, S12, B9, and R8. So you don't get the latest technology with the Redux series. You don't get their, their best possible model of fans. But what you do get is at least one fan in each of the main sizes. You get them for a little bit cheaper than a traditional knock to a fan and you get this look, which might still not really go with anything in your case, but is at least an improvement over the old brown and gray. In total, there's 13 models ranging from, did I say brown and gray? Because I meant brown and tan. In total, there's 13 models ranging from 700 to 1700 RPM, and just like the uh, industrial PPC ones, they are available in three pin or four pin configurations, depending on whether you want to use DC or PWM control. There are no rubber corners on the frame, so you'll have to deal with a little bit more noise than usual, but it's still not that big of a deal. These are the same tried and true fans that Noctua has been selling for years. And what's nice is that even though these are coming in at a lower cost, you still get that same Noctua six year warranty. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's no secret that I like Noctua fans. This, is, this, has been, this has been well publicized at this point in time. And now they're available in either a more aesthetically pleasing and higher performance version for more money, or a more aesthetically pleasing, maybe slightly lower performance version with fewer accessories for less money. Both of these are good things. I think we're done here. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you liked it a lot more than just liking it and you want to see more.